Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday, and on today's episode, I'm gonna share with you five freestyle drills for beginner swimmers. Now, whether you're just getting started in the sport of swimming, or you've been swimming for years, one of the most important things that you can do on a daily basis is to focus on your technique, because it'll not only make you swim faster, but it can help you get a better workout in, burn more calories, help you prevent against injury, and most importantly, have more fun doing it as well. Now, before we get started on these five drills, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome swimming content. The drills we're about to share can be done without any use of equipment. So all you need is your cap and goggles. Heck, you don't even need that. Just hop in the pool and get going. Now, if you're wondering what a drill is, a drill is an exercise used to specifically improve your technique. Normally, you're working on one of the four competitive strokes. That could be freestyle, backstroke, butterfly, or breaststroke. You could also work on kicking or some element of power or other technique in the water. Now, the first drill is called three strokes plus six kicks. It's very simple. You take three freestyle strokes. Every time your arm comes out of the water is one stroke. So you take three strokes. One, two, three. And on the third stroke, you're actually gonna balance on your side with that arm remaining in a streamlined position. You're stretching out as far as you can and your head is looking down. Your eyes are looking at the bottom of the pool and you're balancing on your side. You're gonna take six kicks. Each time your, your foot moves is one kick. So you take six kicks while balancing on your side and then you take three more strokes. Now this drill really focuses on developing balance in the water. It really focuses on rotation, using your core and your hips to generate that rotational power instead of just swimming with your arms and your legs separately. In swimming, you wanna engage your entire body. The water is 800 times more dense than air, so optimizing your technique is super important and maximizing your distance per stroke. Rotating and really reaching every time your hand hits the water is super important. So that's three strokes with six kicks. And I should mention that all of these drills you can do without equipment, but if you have a pair of fins or even a snorkel, the, a breathing apparatus so you don't have to worry about breathing, that can make it a lot easier, but you don't need any equipment. But if you are, I would say recommend a pair of fins to help you get a little bit more propulsion, but you don't need it. So the first drill, three strokes plus six kicks. Awesome drill for rotation. Second drill is called catch-up drill. Now this really focuses on balance, but also patience. Oftentimes when you're swimming freestyle, you wanna just take your arms and move as fast as you can. In swimming, you wanna be a little bit more patient, and this drill allows you to really focus on pausing at the top of the stroke until the next arm recovers and meets it right there at the top in the streamlined position. So ordinarily, you take your arm strokes a little bit faster, but with this drill, you're being more patient, and you're actually gonna pause, and you're gonna meet your hand, almost your thumbs are tagging your, your opposite hand's thumb. So you tag your thumb and then you take your next stroke. Tag your thumb, take your next stroke. Uh, this is patience and balance and also if you have a piece of PVC pipe, you can actually grab that PVC pipe and it'll really force you to be patient until you take the next stroke. Pull and then recovery. Now the third drill is called six kick swish. Very similar to three strokes with six kicks, only you're only gonna take one stroke instead of three. You have to be even more patient for this and having a pair of fins will definitely help you on this one. This is probably the slowest drill of all five of these. So a pair of fins will definitely help you stay moving along in the water. So you balance on your side for all six kicks. You're on your side, your body is completely facing one side or the other. Your eyes are looking at the bottom of the pool. You're gonna take six kicks and then you're gonna take a stroke and then rotate onto the other side. Oftentimes swimmers ask, when do I breathe when I do this drill? You can breathe whenever you need to. It can be part of the natural rhythm of the stroke or if you need oxygen, you can simply lift your head to the side, get your breath and then return your face to the bottom and remain kicking on your side. This really works on balance and teaching your body how to move through the water in a more efficient way. The next drill is called fist drill. This is probably my favorite drill to teach you how to grab the water with not just your hand, but with your forearm. If you think about it, when you swim, you're pulling the water with more than just your hand. The surface area of your arm is actually much, much greater. So if you can grab with more surface area, you're gonna be a lot faster. With fist drill, you're actually gonna turn your hands into a fist. You're gonna reduce the surface area uh, that you can grab the water. So this seems a little counterintuitive, but the goal here is while you reduce the surface area of your hands, you're actually gonna refocus and engage different nerves 
that grab the water with your forearms as well as the rest of your arms. So working on an early vertical forearm, which we have a great Whiteboard Wednesday video, check it out in the description. Um, and you can also use balls to help. So if you have tennis balls or golf balls or any kind of ball that you can grab, it'll eliminate the feel of the water and you really focus on grabbing the water with your forearm and to be honest, this drill will feel very, very slow, and that's okay. What happens is when you go from fist drill to normal swimming, you're gonna feel amazing. But you're gonna have to pay the price up front, and it's gonna feel really, really slow. Just make sure you don't rush the stroke. Really focus on placing your hand in the water and then grab with an early vertical form, and don't rush it. Now the final drill is the zipper drill. Now this one, as the name implies, you're actually gonna finish your stroke and you're gonna focus on with your thumb, you're gonna zip up your torso into your armpit before you take the next stroke. So as the name implies, you're basically, you're unzipping your body, your eyes are down, you're unzipping your body, you're focusing on getting your elbow above your hand your elbow should always be above your hand at any point in the freestyle stroke. Whether you're on the recovery phase and you're zipping up into your armpit, or you're underneath the water and you have an early vertical forearm, your elbow is always above your hand at every point in the stroke, and the zipper drill is a great way to focus on that. Now again, all five of these drills can be done with zero equipment, but if you have a pair of fins, it'll make it a lot easier. A snorkel can also make this a little bit easier, but only if, you, if you've used one before. For beginners, don't worry about any of that stuff. Focus on just doing the drill and being patient. Now, let's put it all together and do a swim workout using all of these drills. So we have our iPhone application right here, or Android. So we got the My Swim Pro app loaded up. We're gonna do a 1,000 meter workout. We're gonna start with the warm up, which is a 200 meter freestyle. If you can't swim 200 meters continuously, totally fine. Just swim 200 uh, broken up. You can do 25s, you can do 50s. Just try and get a total of 200 meters in. Next, you're gonna do a drill set. You're gonna go 225s of each of these drills. So you're gonna go 225s, three strokes plus six kicks. You go 25 meters of this drill, then you're gonna take a pause, 20 seconds rest, go on number two. Then you're gonna do six, you're gonna do a catch up drill. Then you're gonna do two six kick switch, and you're gonna do two fist drill, and then you're gonna do two zipper drill. You're gonna do a total of 10 25s in the drill set, taking about 20 seconds rest between each. Next, you're gonna do the main set, which is actually a building ladder, where you're gonna focus on your technique, really maximizing your distance per stroke, focusing on balance, engaging your core on the rotation, all the things we worked on in these drills. You're gonna go a 50, then a 100, then a 150, then a 200, and as you build up, try and maintain perfect stroke technique. Don't let your stroke fatigue as you get tired and the distance starts to build. At the end of that, you're gonna go 150 freestyle cool down, and that total workout right there is 1,000 meters, about one kilometer of swimming, focusing on your technique. If you like these drills, you'll love the My Swim Pro app. We have hundreds more drills like this. Also, we have five swimming drills for advanced swimmers and five swimming drills that are just crazy, also as Whiteboard Wednesdays. Make sure you check them out in the description. What are your favorite drills? We'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with all your swimming friends. We'll catch you next time on Whiteboard Wednesday. Happy swimming. Bye.